We are now at the stage when we can assemble the neck and the body together. Um, originally I was going to uh, glue the whole thing in one go by putting the soundboard on, inserting the ribs, inserting the neck and then applying glue to all these areas and glue them up in one go. But with hindsight I've been thinking that it would be best to break it down into several stages. Um, it avoids a complete disaster if, if you make an error in any of those places. Um, so we, what we're going to do, we're going to make some modification to, to, the, to the original mould. Just take this out one minute. So what we're going to do now is actually put a step in the mould here to receive the neck so that we can glue up the, the sides and the neck first. It's 34 centimetres and we'll do the same on the other side. So we just need to make sure that this is square. We'll just double check it from the other side as well. So we measure from the end. Okay, I'm just drawing a line with the square here. Okay, so now we have a step at the end of the fingerboard. Now the idea is, when everything is clamped up, the neck recess here can sit flatly on, on the mould and the sides will be able to be clamped at the side of here and the soundboard, everything else will be clamped. So everything will be flush to the face of this. Okay, we can put them all back together again. Just tighten the whole assembly up again. Assembly the, the, the mould again. One thing to do is to lightly wax the surfaces where we're going to be gluing. Um, this just helps in case you're spilling your glue when it seeps out. And if you do the same on the sides of the mould, and before we glue up, what we must do, we must pack out the neck um, because this this jig is designed for various uh, necks from 27 millimeters down to 22 millimeters. So what you need to do is you need to insert some small pieces of wood veneer or scrap pieces of the side or cardboard or some other material um, so that the neck is centered. So you need to do equal amounts on each side so that equal amounts on each side so that when clamped the neck will be firmly placed in the socket. Now one tip I've got here is if you pay attention that all the wood veneer that you put in end at the same point, uh, which is the, the end of the neck socket. That way, when we clamp up a little bit, the all the pressure will be on this part here, so that because we don't want um, we don't want uneven uneven gluing. We want the whole thing to be firmly glued to the neck, even up to this point here. So if you make sure that if we tape on these pieces uh, with some masking tape, uh, we can do it just by taking our wood veneer and just fixing it so that it's at that point of the neck. And in my example I can only two pieces of veneer. Now when this is clamped up this will put pressure on the neck and the this will hold it in place. Now when all the packing pieces are put either side of the neck, to put the neck in will be quite a, a firm effort, so it will just require a bow when it's in. There should be no rocking, it should feel quite stiff and it should feel flat on, on the face of the where the sandboard will go. And here you can see how the neck lines up with, that, with the center line of the mold right to the tail block here. And when you're happy with this, 
we're going to go to the next stage which is to glue it up and to apply these little devices which hold the, the sides down Okay, so we check the center line, make sure it matches up and then to hold it in position we use our Allen key and then to hold it this as well so we're holding it against the back of the mold and we hold it to the sides of the mold I'm going to tighten these ones up all the way around It's just to ensure that the, the ribs are square and flat on the, on the face. So when we glue the soundboard on, there won't be any gaps. Okay, we just want to make sure that the glue is evenly spread out. On this side. Okay. Okay, that's good to go. Okay, we just need to make sure that it's butt up against the So we have the sides clamped and we've got a clamp on the front here going to the back. Now we need to leave this for for about an hour or two um, before we have a look at oh, take the clamps off. Okay, now the glue is dried, we can undo the, the clamps. And what we're going to do at this stage is to remove one layer of the mould and we're going to sand the back and the neck flush. This is in preparation of um, gluing the, the back on. Okay, we release it from the mould. insert this mould in the bottom this way the wooden pegs have somewhere to go and it raises the level going to take it quite easy at first but we're just going to gradually level the linings to, to the sides and then we we'll use sandpaper in the final stages to to make sure it's all flat I'm using some abrasive paper I just attached to a maple board that I've got 